Would this video count as hog watch? Yes. But we are going to do hot watch. He says God told him to start selling Trump stuff. His store is now a mega hit. The mugshot was really hot. And this stuff lasts probably about two months. It stays really hot. But the first week that we the mugshot came out, we sold like 2,000 t-shirts. What's that? <laughs> That's uh, Trump's balls. OK. <laughs> Whitey Taylor runs a busy Trump store in Boone's Mill, a town of fewer than 500 people in southwestern Virginia. We visited a week. Written house is welcome in our house. Week after Christmas, with the Iowa caucuses just days away. Taylor predicted Trump would win the Republican nomination, and then business would really boom. Can only get these here. <laughs> How much are $20. you? $20. Yeah. Customers were bullish too. What the superfans bought offers some insight into what they want politically. The merch is not just simple campaign slogans. It's defiant, even vulgar. And get buyers who enjoy being mad at the state of America and think there's one guy who will fix it. When Trump was indicted for all these different things, did people stop buying his merchandise? No, they bought it more. Why? Yeah. Because they knew it was like Russia collusion. This is all just all bull made up bull Now, he has gained a lot of people because of this administration that we have. Yeah, it's just like the Russia collusion is bullshit. <laughs> Trump made a perfect phone call. Yeah. You get we, people coming and saying Oh, that? yeah, definitely, yeah. They'll just come in and say, never again will I be that stupid, you know. Hi, welcome to the Trump Store. Hi. What have you observed about what people are looking for? People want our economy better. Mm -hmm. they're, they're very scared, I think, because of the way things are going. They feel like um, where we're at right now is not, is like stagnant. Were you interested in politics before Trump? Yes, and you know, it's strange, because I've always been Democrat. Really? <laughs> Yes. So I yeah. am a firm yeah. believer in yeah. believing in a person yeah. and system that's going to make positive. I just. Like what in tarnation, dude? What the hell is going on, folks? What is happening with the, with the Republicans really are a party that runs on fear? Yeah. I just Texas restaurant named Trump Burger. I I don't know. changes. I think in the past I made some quick judgments about my voting, and so I'm very more. Oh, I believed in Bear Doc Hussein No Bummer, who I now know was a Muslim man, Kenyan Muslim man, and also a fan of. Terror sales. Bardock Hussein Obama and also secretly was killed in the Osama bin Laden raid. That's right. The current Bardock Hussein no bummer is actually a Christian clone of Bardock Hussein no bummer. That's right. The real one died in the Osama bin Laden raid. They killed him. The Patriots seized control. Selective and it's more thought put into it. What's coming up right now? Who knows? The more the Democrats talk about uh, mega crazy people, then, it, you know, something will spin off of it. Within a 150 mile radius of here, anybody gets company in, they bring them here. Why'd you come in today? To get some... Uh... Trump stuff, so I can advertise and, you know, support him. 06, 08, I like lost everything I had. But I barely survived. I mean, I don't know how I did. And this is leading up to the same thing again. It's coming. The dying fall is coming. And do you think Trump could pre prevent that? I think he can. Famously, Barack Obama was responsible for that, too. I, I like that in his mind, he has not made the association with Republican Party politics at all, which, of course, liberals also contributed to. But still, like, you would expect the brain-dead hog to make the association with, like, George W. Bush, but he does not. He makes the association with the black man. <coughs> 
I think he can put the brakes on it and turn it around. I often wonder what encourages people to be a Democrat because I don't see a lot of kindness. I don't see a lot of help for our country. That's so sick. For me, I think that's what I associate with Republicans is kindness. And I see a lot of talk, no action. He got into this business at the very beginning of Trump's takeover of the Republican Party. Taylor's a serial entrepreneur and attention seeker, and he prayed to God to guide him while selling racing merch at the Daytona 500. My son said, Dad, what's God telling you? I said, came in my spirit. He wants me to help Trump. I said, I'm going to order a thousand T-shirts. He said, Dad, but that's... God told him, engage in commerce, my son. Sell Trump T-shirts. That is sick. crazy you know how crazy you get just get a hundred i said go big or go home boy i said if god's telling me we'll sell every one of them not with them trash can that's leave. awesome all I we had was a white t-shirt that said uh hire the vets fire the idiots trump 2016 on the front red white and blue and on the back it said finally someone with balls donald j trump okay and i became known as the balls man on the tour taylor opened the store in the fall of 2020 inside a hundred year old church after the election the big seller was stop the steal did you think the election was stolen? There's no doubt the election was stolen, yeah. And what did you think of January 6th? It was a bad thing, but if you look back, you actually look at the tapes and stuff, they were let in. Like they still should have never went inside, okay? You never go in somebody's house or a house, a public house like that, yeah. Does that complicate what you think of Trump at all, that he... No, why no. Not? Definitely not, because he, he definitely didn't tell him to go and storm the house. Would you have any interest in running this store if Trump weren't so controversial? I doubt it. I like his controversy. You know, we need something that we can laugh about and be happy about. There's liberals that think they can come in here and actually tell me what to do. The last one was a professor from UNC. She was just telling me what a great job Biden's doing. I tried to tell her to leave. But do you not appreciate, you know, her oh, coming in and wanting uh, to mix it up a little bit? You know? Oh, I love it, yeah, but she don't want to hear what I have to say. She wanted me to only hear what she had to say. You said that you want to rename this town Trump Town? Why not? The Boons are dead. The mill's gone. Let's change. Do you think other people will support you with that? Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's, it's good controversy if it never happens. Ellie Reeve, CNN, Boone's Mill, Virginia. That's awesome. Oh, damn. Tim Cass is, uh, has the, the pedophile guy on. That's sick. I was on you simply We're in the fall rewind. of 2020, inside a 100-year-old church. After the election, the big seller was Stop the Steal. Did you think the election was stolen? There's no doubt the election was stolen, yeah. And what did you think of January 6th? It was a bad thing, but if you look back, you actually look at the tapes and stuff, they were let in. Like, they still should have never went inside, okay? You never go in somebody's house. Dude, the Blue Lives Matter flag next to the Israel flag perfectly demonstrates American Republican Party politics in areas where you're just like, how did this happen? This is the number one supporter of Israel in America, by the way. Everybody's always like, oh, like anti-Semites are like, oh, yeah, it's the it's the shadowy uh, Jewish figures that are uh, unconditionally support of Israel. And it's like, no, it's this fucking guy. OK, <laughs> next to the Confederate flag, too. One hundo P or a house, a public house like that. Yeah. Does that complicate what you think of Trump at all that he? No, why no. Not? Definitely not, because he, he definitely didn't tell him. I don't understand. If the election is stolen, then January 6th is perfectly valid. I feel like you can't, you can't hold those two beliefs at the same time in your mind. Like if, if you know in your heart of hearts, okay, if you know in your heart of hearts that the election was stolen, why the fuck wouldn't you want to fight back against it? That makes no sense. That just kind of breaks your entire ideology apart. It just rips it apart. Go and storm the house. Would you have any interest in running this store if Trump weren't so controversial? I doubt it. I like his controversy. You know, we need something that we can laugh <laughs> you about can and on be Oxy. happy about. 
there's liberals that think they can come in here and actually tell me what to do. The last one was a professor from UNC. She was just telling me what a great job Biden's doing. I tried to tell her to leave. But do you not appreciate, you know, huh. her oh, coming? Oh, wait, what? He tried to kick out a, a lip dart that came into my store because <laughs> that's not what free speech is about, brother. And then wanted to mix it up a little bit. You know? Oh, I love it, yeah, but she don't want to hear what I have to say. She wanted me to only hear what she had to say. You said that you want to rename this town Trump Town? Why not? The Boons are dead. The mill's gone. Let's change. Do you think other people support you with that? Not really, but it doesn't really matter. It's, not really. It's good controversy if it never not really, but it doesn't really matter. Love this guy, dude.